Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the derivative of this function. So to do that we want to write everything as t to a power so we can use the power rule. So the t squared is okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite what we have. So g of t, right, we still haven't taken the derivative, we're just rewriting. So t squared minus, and what you can do with this piece is you can bring it upstairs. And when you do that, the exponent will become negative. This will actually become 2 and then t to the negative 3, right? Really important strategy uh, when you're learning how to take derivatives. Uh, okay, so now we're in a good place. So let's take the derivative. So g prime, again, the prime symbol indicates that we're going to take the derivative, is equal to. So here we'll use the power rule. We'll put the 2 in the front. So we get 2t. And then we subtract 1. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So that's just t to the 1, so it's t. Here we bring the negative 3 down. So we get negative 3 times negative 2, which is plus 6. And then we have the t. And then we subtract 1. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So negative 4. So it'll just be 2t. And then negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. And then subtracting 1 gives us negative 4. And that's it. You can just leave your answer like this. You don't have to worry about rewriting it. I mean, you could if you want to. You could do something um, like this, and that would be fine. So it just depends. Uh, that, that seems good to me. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.